we explained Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting. Now this is based upon a previous video I've done about Gaussian elimination so you, if you haven't watched that yet um, I suggest you go and watch that now. So we've already seen that Gaussian elimination is a process of reducing a matrix to row echelon form by using elementary row operations. Well partial pivoting is an extra step in Gaussian elimination where we use row swaps to ensure that the pivot element has a largest absolute value or an absolute value greater than or equal to all of the elements in the column beneath it. Now the reason we use partial pivoting is this avoids some rounding errors that can occur when we have uh, the differences in the values between the pivots and the other elements are large. Okay, so I show this by means of an example. So we're going to solve this uh, system of linear equations using Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting. So we start by forming the augmented matrix. Now, previously, the row operations we did was row 2 minus 2 row 1 and row 3 minus 4 row 1. But here we want to use partial pivoting. Now our pivot element has a value of 1 and if we look at the values of the elements beneath it, they are 2 and 4. So now we want the pivot element to be the largest value um, out of the um, elements beneath it. So here 4 is clearly larger than 1 so the first thing we do is we do a, perform a row swap and we swap row 1 and row 3 around. Okay so that's a fairly simple, uh, simple thing to do. So now our pivot is the largest out of the uh, values beneath it. So now we proceed as before. So in order to reduce 2 we're going to have to subtract a half multiplied by row 1 from row 2 and in order to reduce 1, uh, re reduce 1 to 0 we're going to have to subtract row 1 multiplied by a quarter so I found those ratios by simply dividing the element you want to reduce by the pivot element if you're using partial pivoting this number here should always be less than or equal to 1 so if we perform that row operation we've reduced the elements beneath our pivot to zero. Okay, so our next pivot is five over two. So what we do is we compare the absolute value of the pivot to the absolute values of the, the elements beneath it. So five over two, it, this is greater than um, five over four, so just ignore the negative sign there. So we don't have to perform, perform any row swaps because our pivot element is already larger than the element beneath it. So the row operation I need to perform. Uh, if I divide uh, 5 over 4 by 5 over 2 we get 1 half and if I add 1 half multiplied by row 2 to row 3 we reduce this minus 5 over 4 to 0. So now we have our augmented matrix in row echelon form and this is done using partial pivoted. Once it's in reduced, uh, sorry, once it's in row echelon form we can solve for our variables by back substitution. So taking the last row, this equates to 6x, or this corresponds to 6x3 equals 12. So simply divide throughout by 6 to give x3 equals 2. The second row gives 5 over 2x2 plus 5 times x3. Well, I already know x3 is 2, and that equals 5 over 2. So simple rearrangement, and um, we find that x2 is equal to minus 3 and finally the top row is 4x1 plus 5 times x2 which we know is minus 3 plus 2 times x3 which we know to be 2 and that equals minus 7 and again we could rearrange to make x1 the subject given a solution of 1.